around 70 kilometers from Pune city on the Pabar Malthan road off Shikrapur is situated a small village Morachi Tinsoli with a human population of around 400 and the population of peafowls 400 to 500. The history of this village goes back to the pre-British era. The name Morati Tinsoli is given to this village due to the large number of tamarind trees and the huge population of peafowl in the region. Along with the tamarind trees, the flora and fauna of the village boasts of trees like mango, sandalwood, acacia, custard apple, neem, drumstick, people, and banyan, among other plant species. These trees provide an excellent shelter to the birds. Chinsoli is home to some really old and fine tamarind trees, which are perfectly suitable for the peafowl. The peacocks select tamarind trees to others for their perches as these trees are stronger, have thick horizontal branches and, as a result, provide a good protection to them. If he perceives any danger, he is quick enough to float on his feathers and land at a distance. Otherwise, the peacocks generally prefer to run on their strong feet. The peacock is believed to be a revered vehicle of Goddess Saraswati and Lord Kartikeya, Lord Ganesha's brother. In addition to this, the local villagers call it the vehicle of Lord Khandoba too. So, the peafowl here have the divine blessings of Lord Khandoba and can move around the village fearlessly. The villagers are not worried when the peafowls feed on their standing crops as they consider it as a blessing from God. There is a very special bond between the people of Chinsoli and the peafowls. A large number of peacocks can be seen running in the fields in search of food. The peacock can run excellently, balancing his long tail. The tail does not seem to obstruct his movements, as the unique structure of his feet helps him maintain the balance. The peacocks are omnivorous birds. These birds keep locusts, lizards, snakes and other pests in check, thus indirectly helping the farmers protect their crops. The people of Chinsoli have looked after and protected peacocks through generations, offering them a natural sanctuary. As the day breaks, the peacocks slowly start descending on the ground from their perches.
Then they venture out in search of food in the village, seeking grains from people and on the fields. In summer, it's difficult for the peacocks to secure their food, but the villagers give a helping hand and offer food to the peafowls. In the yearly fair of Lord Khandoba in the village, a considerable part of the collected grains is kept aside for these peacocks. In summer, the villagers keep several water tubs in their fields for the convenience of the peacocks. The peafowl need thick vegetation and abundant water for survival. When the temperature rises, they come to the water places and try to regulate their body temperature. The peacock belongs to the Fasianidae family and lives on land. The peacock's beak is small and tough. The upper part of the beak is longer than the lower part. The strong and featherless feet of the peacock have one or two sharp talons. The feathers of the peacock are small and rounded. The flight of the peacock can be swift and powerful, the bird is unable to fly over long distances. The atmosphere in Chinsoli is very informal and friendly. A peafowl lover is treated as a family member. But if they suspect the motive of the tourists, they are taken to task. As the afternoon approaches, the peafowls take refuge on the trees once again. When the sun sets, they come down in search of food in the fields. If they come across a new visitor, they are quick to take refuge in their perches and warn the other birds. The peacocks fight and challenge each other over water places, available food and right over peahens. In Chinsoli, not only the peacocks, but even other birds are simultaneously protected. 
No bird is killed here. Fowls mix with the people of Chincholi quite fearlessly. One can see the full bloomed plumage and the dazzling dance of the peacocks from very close quarters in Chincholi. When the peacock is performing its dance, it seems to say, I am the most beautiful of all. The peacock spreads its plumage to challenge the other peacocks and also to attract the peahens. It is surprising to know that a peacock dances not only in the rains but throughout the year. The monsoon is the mating season for the peacocks. The peahen lays eggs in a thick clump of grass or at the base of a bush. If one happens to witness this, it is not supposed to be revealed even to one's family members. It is believed that Lord Khandoba punishes the one who reveals it. This is one of the reasons why the peafowls have resided in Chinsoli for generations. This wary peafowl now appears to be more cautious after sunset. As the sun sets, all peafowl that were scattered for foraging during the day start gathering to roost. Basically, the peacock is a very cautious bird. People of Chintoli have made tremendous contribution towards eco conservation. These people have given the status of God to the peacocks. Chintoli prides in the coexistence of man and peafowl. The centuries-old tradition practiced in Tinsoli should be encouraged and such sanctuaries should be protected for their ecological balance. Murati Tinsoli is a man-made sanctuary created 
preserved and protected by man for generations. May this coexistence of man and peafowl be maintained forever.